Hi, I'm Danny McKinley, and I am at Zia Comics in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And today, I'm going to teach you how to play Here Kitty Kitty by Fireside Games. The game where players are crazy cat ladies trying to lure various cats from the neighborhood to their property. The player who does that the best wins the game. So in Here Kitty Kitty, players pick one of these houses. All of the houses act the same, but they do have different artwork on it. So in this example, we are going to be using these two houses in a two-player game. These cats make up the neighborhood, and they are set at the center of the table. There are four different kinds of cats, gray, black, white, and orange. And there are 10 of each cat, for a total of 40 cat tokens. It's quite a bit. The goal of the of this game is to lure the cats on your property by scoring points. There are different levels of property. You have your yard, porch, and house. The easiest way to score points is by moving them to one of those locations. The yard is worth zero points, the porch is worth three points for each cat, and the house is worth five. So as you move cats on your property, you'll be scoring points for them. Now even though the yard is worth zero points for each of the cats you have on it. That doesn't mean that you won't score points based on bonuses later on. So that's something to keep in mind as you play. Now on your turn, you're going to be taking two actions. An action can be considered moving a cat one space. A space is either the neighborhood, yard, porch, or house. So if I move this gray cat one space, I can move it to my yard. Or I can move it from my yard to my porch. Or my porch to my house. Also, you can move it away from the house or the porch. You may be asking why you might do that, because you'll be losing points, but I'll explain that later on. Also, one of your actions can be playing one of the cards in your hand. All players will have three cards normally in their hand. They will play them as they choose as in their turn. Then at the end of their turn, they will draw up to three cards if they played any of those. So on my turn, I may play two cards as my two actions, or I may play one card and move one cat, or I might just move two cats and call that my turn done. There is also, you may discard cards if you just don't like the cards that are in your hand to get better cards after you draw up. So as I was talking about bonus points, there are a number of ways you can score points. The basic points are having them further into your house, but by having five or more of the same color cat will get you a bonus five points. By having one cat of each color on your property, including the yard, would get you a bonus of five points. Having the most cats of any color gets you three points for each color that you have the majority in. And if all of the cats that are in your house are the same color, you get a bonus ten points. That's why you might want to move one cat out if he's a different colored cat. So I might move this gray cat out to keep all of the cats in my house black cats. Now the cards themselves, there are three different kinds. There are blue action cards, which you can play. This one, play at one, or I'm sorry, purple action cards, there are blue response cards. This says, play at no action, cost to prevent any one cat from being moved. So if one cat is trying to be stolen from my property, I can play that in response to it. Then there are purple cards, like this one, Foster Kittens, where you place this card underneath your house and you immediately adopt two kittens from the neighborhood. Those count as in your, hat, in your house. However, it can be stolen by an adoption card. There are plenty of other cards as well, like Best in Show, where you score two points at the end of the game. There are cards like Cat-like Reflexes, move cat one cat two spaces, and that only counts as one action. Or Can Opener, lure one cat from each of your neighbor's yards, neighbor's choice, and one cat from the neighborhood onto your porch. It's very powerful. And then finally, there are instant cards, where they have a bright red border, like fireworks. All players move two cats from their property to the neighborhood. Does not affect cats and houses. When those are drawn, they are played immediately, and all players are normally affected by them. Then the player who 
who had to play it on their turn, still continues to draw until they have three cards in their hand. The game is over when this deck runs out and all players take one more turn. Then the final scoring goes through and the player with the most points is the craziest cat lady of them all and wins the game. So that's how you play Here Kitty Kitty. An average game takes about 45 minutes and I'll admit I'm not a fan of cats but I really enjoy this game. So if you'd like to learn how to play it, come on by Zia Comics in Las Cruces, New Mexico and we'll be more than happy to show you how to play.